Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. Would you like to hear how I got the nickname, The Dragon of the West? Yeah! Aha! It is a lovely day for a cup of tea, don't you think? Come on, you got to feel the flow! Yeah! Only once every hundred years can a firebender experience this kind of power. The wise, noble, and powerful firebending master, the legendary Dragon of the West, Iroh, is here to conquer the competition in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. That's right, Zuko and Azula's tea-loving uncle is finally here. In this character spotlight, we'll be taking a look at how Iroh stands out with his unique set of techniques and abilities. First up, let's take a look at Iroh's neutral special, the White Lotus Counter. This move is a counterattack, and depending on which direction you hold after pressing the special button, you'll get a different attack. Holding backwards results in a grab followed by a suplex that can be comboed off of. Holding forward causes Iroh to leap forward while letting loose some cover fire, and every other direction results in a quick shoulder bash that will knock enemies away. The slime version of this move behaves mostly the same, but if you hold a direction and press the special button again, you can perform an attack without needing to get hit first. Next is Iroh's side special, the Dragon of the West. While these fiery fumes are active, Ira can continue walking around the battlefield. If activated with slime, the Dragon of the West takes flight, performing an air dash left or right, making it super useful for recovery or as a mid-range gap closer. Wisdom of the Last Dragons is Iroh's up special. With this, Iroh rockets himself high to the sky, and if the special button is pressed again, he'll descend like a meteor, knocking enemies out of the way or spiking them if they get caught in the startup. Lastly, Iroh's moveset would be incomplete if it weren't for his down special, the Jasmine Dragon's T. Even the heat of battle won't stop Iroh from warming up some tea. When activated, Iroh will take a brief moment to enjoy his beverage, but if someone comes running to interrupt your tea time, then you can cancel the move with any other special attack. If Iroh is able to finish off his cup, then he'll recover a bit of health, gain some meter, and enter the Jasmine state. In this state, Iroh's fire attacks gain a little bit of extra range, his down special instead shoots a fireball downwards, his light neutral air attack gains a powerful optional follow-up, and he can use the follow-ups on his counter-attack without having to get hit or use slime. With the special attacks out of the way, let's cover some of Iroh's other techniques. Just like his niece and nephew, Iroh also has access to lightning through his charged up and charged down aerial attacks. These moves are a little slow, but they're also pretty big and super powerful. His light forward attack is called the White Lotus Gambit. The first hit pops opponents up, while the second is a long-range flaming strike. This move contains a little bit of an advanced technique. If you activate the second part of the attack and then quickly try to dash, you can interrupt the White Lotus Gambit and do whatever you'd like as a follow-up. This includes simply repositioning, going for a grab, looping the move into itself, or comboing into a finisher. Also, Iro is intangible in between the first and second hits, and if you perform the dash cancel, he'll even keep the intangibility for a split second. Are you ready to take the stage with the legendary Dragon of the West? Then give Iroh a try in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Thanks for watching.